All right, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom. I'm the brother Zakaya. Mm-hmm. Brother Yaiqua. We're coming at you from the GMS Camp Atlanta. Before we get started with this lesson, we'd like to give our honor and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rukakwadash. Give it up an honor to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutations to your hopeful that's been pushing this truth, all right? Mm -hmm. And in today's lesson, we're just going to talk about, you know, the situation and what's going on, all right? Yeah. What, what's his name? Um, I'm George Floyd. George Floyd, mm -hmm. all right? He got persecuted, okay, by <laughs> by Edomite cop, all right? Yeah. All right? And um, we have a video on it, and Jake is getting roused up over it, man. Yeah. But this is the part of prophecies, man, and also part of the curses, mm -hmm. okay? But um, what, what I've, wait, before okay. we get to the video, let me just read this. Um, Genesis 49 and verse 9 it says, Judah's, Judah is a lion's whip from the prey. My son, thou art going up. He stooped down. He couched, he, uh, couched as a lion, okay? And we see that today, man. Judah, the nation of Israel, is at ease, all right? Especially the um, tribe of Judah itself. You so-called Negroes. Mm -hmm, you so-called Negroes, all right? You, you so-called Negroes are at ease, man, okay? All you guys do is basically, what, go in the house, smoke a blunt? Y'all on ease mode, okay? Mm. And, but it's going to take more of these um, occasions to happen to st stir Judah up. But not just, you know, a, a random Israelite, you know, it got to be an elect, though, okay? And, and, no, through the spirit. And, and, and through the spirit, Jake out here in these streets going to rouse up too. Yeah, Jake out. Pop things off. Yeah, Jake out in the street is definitely going to rouse things up, you know. All of the tribes, ultimately, all the tribes are going to be going to war. Because they're not, they're not going to have a choice at the end of the day because they're going to be facing annihilation, extermination with these Edomites ro ro roll, you know, completely. But we see here which quite possibly could be a tipping point because I was looking, uh, somebody was showing me a, a Snapchat of somebody who's in Minnesota right now. They were posting on their Snapchat. They had pulled a police a police officer out of the car. Somebody, a police officer shot somebody in the head out there and they ain't even called the EMS. Like, it's really wild out there, you know? It's really, it's, uh, it's pretty wild out there, you know? But Jake still is taking it, you know, for a certain, um, to a certain extent, Jake is still taking it for a game. Because so I'm seeing people post TikToks and so on and so forth. And they, you know, with laughing emojis about certain things that's going on. But eventually, it's not going to be anything to laugh at, man. Mm -hmm. All right, because Esau Edom is just going to roll full-fledged on you niggas, man. All right, and why is this? Because of the, of the inequities of you and your fathers, man. Because you not want to repent and turn back to Yahweh by Shem Shah. That's the whole reason why these things are coming upon us, man. All right? Uh, I'm gonna continue. Yeah. It said, "And as an old lion, who shall rouse him up?" Right. Okay, and through the spirit, the Lord is gonna rouse you people up, man. Yeah. Okay, the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, that you people in the call God in Jesus Christ, He's gonna be the one to rouse you up. Yeah. All right, and we need that. Uh, we need to be roused up because yeah. we in captivity, man. Yeah. We still in oppression. All right. And, and, and to be honest, Esau is just getting away. We're, we're killing you niggas, man. As it seems. Mm hmm. You know, because the judgment of the Lord tarrieth, you know. You know, the Lord is, when I say tarrieth, he's long-suffering, all right? And so he's giving Esau, uh, op, op, he's in this society, because of the, we under the curses, it seems as if Esau can do whatever the hell he want. But the Lord, the God of Israel, Yahweh is going to judge these people for what they've been doing to his people, mm -hmm. you know? And he's going to do it by who? By the hand of my, matter of fact, let me grab a quick scripture real quick. There we go. Coincide. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Oh, no. mm, let's see. Uh, I'm going to put on the, the neck of thy enemy, so... Uh, I'm gonna grab another one, Jer um, Jeremiah 51, real quick. Because he's gonna, I, it was, I think it was, a, it went like by the hand of my people, Judah. Judah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, but um. Yeah, big, big, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one though. What yeah, you the, said? The, yeah, the, the hand. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, let's get that. That's actually a better one. That's in Psalms. What is it? Shall. 
what is it? Um, how's it go? <laughs> yeah, thy hand should be upon. Yeah, she like yeah. <laughs> God, God, bear, bear with us. Yeah, she like yeah. It's, it's in the book of Psalms though. Let's see here. Yeah, the, the neck of my enemies. Yeah, let's go to it. All right. Yeah. This is a good yeah. one right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, boo. All right. <laughs> All right. So, like, let's go to Jeremiah real quick. Because I know for a fact I grabbed that one real quick. It's a good one. So, the Lord got so many precepts for us to pull from. All right. So, what is it? I think it's 5117. No, it's 5017. If I'm not mistaken. Down my battle axe. Oh, is it, I believe it's 19. Yeah. Um, 51 and 19. She like you. So it says, The portion of Jacob is not like them, and the portion of Jacob is Yahweh by Shemi mm -hmm. He is our portion, He is our inheritance. It says, For for He is the form of all things. Who's the form of all things? Yahweh by Shemi And Israel is the rod of His inheritance. Yahweh of hosts is his name, right? Because he is our power, all right? Verse 20, it says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. And who is that speaking of? This is speaking of the Israelites, man. Yep. All right, starting off with the elect <clears throat> of the nation of Israel, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. But he's also talking about the entirety of the nation, God. all right? Now, the only ones to that's going to receive the victory ultimately is the elect, all right? It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Mm, that's heavy, all right? Yeah. Meaning what? The Lord Yahweh Bashim Shah is going to use us vessels, man, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. The Spirit, because 144, too. Yeah. And we're coming in those times, man. Yeah. The Lord is going to start using Jake to fuck these other nations up, okay? But um, you want to um, bring up the video? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, we definitely get that video. All right, let's watch there the video. You see what this is what I'm talking about? You see how they still got the like they still uh, and the emo they using laughing emojis to describe certain things. And the minute Lord about to wipe that smirk off you niggas' faces, man, you gonna know that it's nothing fucking funny about these circumstances that we going through, man. Mm -hmm. All right, these curses we been us being shot down and destroyed as a people. It's nothing funny about that, man. Jake is Jake want an excuse to riot, man. A lot of these Jakes. Now don't get me wrong, you got a lot of Jakes. You know, are sincere about this thing and really heartbroken and angry and upset and frustrated and sad. But then you got a lot of Jakes that's you know half-hearted, man. Like that, like that lion, Cal um, you know, uh, you know, like an old lion, man, taking the shit as a fucking joke. But when Esau eat them rolls <laughs> on you, man, you gonna know that what that you're being judged mm -hmm. all right, for your inequities. And matter of fact, that's prophecy in itself because they will know. Yeah. It, even these other nations, they're going to know, all right, this is the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh doing this to all of us. Yep. Okay? Yep. Tell you that in Ezekiel. Yep. And also, what? Because you had, what's this nigga um, name? Um, Come on, George Floyd? Nah, oh. the nigga who, this fucking fake ass Khalid Muhammad nigga. Oh, man. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? The new guy, what is it? Master, Grand Master, Something, son. Man. Nigga, you are going to be destroyed, bro. All right, he called himself Grand Master. And, um, you know, basically trying to incite Jake to riot, not even to riot, to come with actual military grade hardware and try to come up against this damn devil. Are you, have you lost your fucking mind? That's not going to happen. Bro, Esau Edom will, Esau Edom will tear you niggas into pieces. First of all, you don't have the military hardware or the ammunition or the labor, the the, the manpower, mm -hmm. to come up against a, a organized American military front. And a, and a brother just posted, um, you know, in the chat, 
it was something about this new laser technology, something like that. Yeah, he saw got I laser technology. Yeah, he got laser technology <clears throat> to shoot planes out the sky. Yeah. So, well, what your what your Glock and AK forty seven is gonna do? What's your little bulletproof vest gonna do with a when a laser just zap you? He saw a guy. He got air reconnaissance drones. He got spies that's within your ranks. And you talking about coming up against it? And we know he's a he set up. He's an agent. Mm -hmm. But the point that we trying to bring forth is what if you're not doing this thing through the spirit of power, Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah through Yahweh Shah, because they like to say Yahweh and Yahweh. What, what they got to do with you if you don't got Yahweh Shah? He's the mediator, man. Well, uh, matter of fact, let's grab it. Go Hebrews. Let's grab it. Oh, I was gonna grab John real quick. Oh, okay, come. Yeah, I'm gonna grab John. Then yeah, whatever then we'll, in Hebrews. Then we, yeah, yeah, bring yeah, out the Hebrews. Hebrews. All right, so this is um John chapter 15 verse five. It says, "I am the vine; ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, which is what abiding in his doctrine, what he has commanded, his wisdom, his understanding. All right, what he has commanded us to um, enact on this earth." It says, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. All mm -hmm. right. So if you don't have your Howard Shah, then what they say, well, we need to just unite. You know, it, it don't matter what religion, and you're going to die too, nigga. You're going to die. Because it does matter, man. Can two walk together, lest they be agreed? You know, what fe the scripture says, what fellowship does... A believer have with an infidel, man. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna be joined together with a nigga who worship Allah and you worship Yahweh Shah? Or how are you gonna be joined together with a nigga who worship Satan? You got Jakes out here that actually worship Satan, and then you got Jakes that's over here that's atheist. Durr. Come on, man. You your ideology is completely different. You join the, you can't be joined together with somebody who's not on the same accord as you, man. Mm -hmm. Alright? It's not gonna work. All right, and ultimately you're not going to have that power source, which is Yahweh Shah, which is the enactor of the Holy Spirit, which is going to give us the strength to overcome this devil, man. That's right. All right, and you said Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews eight and six. All right, Hebrews, Hebrews eight and six. six point. You got it. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter eight, verse six. Okay, this Hebrews eight and six. It says, "But now have he obtained a more excellent ministry, but how much also." He is the mediator of a better covenant, yes, which was established upon better promises. Mm -hmm. And I also tell you that in Hebrews the twelfth chapter, also that he is also the mediator. Yeah. Okay, so yes, man, it's, you got to have it. Got to be Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Okay, because of what Yahweh Shah is that mediator, man. All right. All right. If you want salvation, you got to get through Yahweh Shah. Yeah. All right. Period. Period, bro. Because it's order. Yeah. All right, and and the scripture talks about order too. Yeah. Well, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, man and woman, mm -hmm. just to roughly paraphrase it, yes. okay. Fair. So he's the only one who's gonna uh, protect us, man. That's and use us as vessels, okay. That's right. Just like he's he's already stirring up Jake out here in these streets, man. Yeah. Then next thing you know, it's gonna be sedition amongst men, mm -hmm. etc., man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jay's gonna go against the higher ups, quote unquote. Yeah. Not the elite banking families. All right. Okay. And what's and if I may, what's gonna lead Jake to really be roused up? Is when Esau rose, because Esau like Esau gonna use this as a, as an excuse to be a devil and try to come down on Jake and kill people. Now you got idiots like uh, these different military group um, um, black militants in Sakari talking about they about to go down boots on the ground to Missouri, bro. Or what is it? it's Missouri, right? Uh, Minneapolis. No, no. Yeah, Minneapolis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Minneapolis. <laughs> Bro, that is the same spirit that them zealots had in 70 AD. And you failed in 70 AD and you still didn't learn your lesson, man. Because the Lord's not all about carnality. He's not about, the, he's not about the physical, man. He's about the spiritual. And listen, man, you niggas who are following Elazar, man, y'all going to meet that same end that the zealots met in 70 AD, man. Better repent. Remember, the zealots did not believe in Yahweh Shah, man. God. The zealots did not believe the the zealots in Sakari did not believe in Yahweh Shah, man. They were infidels. So you you following the group? It's a spirit that comes behind the name, man. You following a group that that did not believe in Yahweh Shah, okay? Then what? You coming in that spirit, that anti mashiach Just like if you following the Pharisees or the Sadducees, you got to come out of that. All right. 
all these different groups, including the, the Zealots and Sakari, they didn't believe in Yahweh Shai. Now, yes, you had certain individuals that came from amongst those ranks and, and believed in Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. but them as a group, they didn't believe in Yahweh Shai. The Lord wasn't dealing with them. They was coming up against the Lord, man. Gone. All right, just so like just like um the uh, the uh, individuals of the um uh, what, what was it roughly like fifty years later in the Third Jewish War, all right the Bar uh, Kokhba um uh, revolt which you niggas lost then, you niggas were destroyed then, all right utterly destroyed, damn near worse than seventy A D. And so why is that? Because you didn't have Yahweh Shai, man. Mm -hmm. All right. God. So, but you know, bottom line is, man, you got to be serving your high shot to be able to be delivered out of this thing. Mm -hmm. All right. And I know the brother, brother mentioned Sakari and everything like that. What well, the Lord's gonna use y'all as vessels too to get destroyed. Yeah. Okay. Just like, like seventy you gotta, AD. Um, re re repent, man. Get right, man. Just like seventy AD, man. Mm -hmm. Just um, like seventy AD. God, that, that's all you had on your spirit, yeah, brother. Yeah, kind. Well, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. We're just going to close it out by giving all honor, glory unto Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rukakwadash. Double honors again to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace, love, and salutations to you. Hopefully, that's been put to truth. Shalom. Shalom.